Hello, my brothers and sisters. How awesome is your God? Is your God awesome? Because my God is awesome. Is he merciful? Because my God is merciful. If he loving, if he giving, you need to give him the praise right now. You need to give him the glory right now. You need to shout out his holy name right now because we serve an awesome and amazing and a big merciful God each and every day. He the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. For right now, for 60 seconds right now, out of y'all time, I'm just asking y'all right now just to join with me and give Jesus the praise, the glory, the honor, what he deserves right now. Give him the praise right now. Give him the glory right now. Magnify his holy name right now. Jesus, you're welcome in our home right now. Jesus, you're welcome in our marriages right now. Jesus, you're welcome in our situation right now. But right now, Jesus, we want to give you the thanks right now. We want to honor you right now. We want to shout out and glorify and shout out your holy name right now. We want to let you know how wonderful and magnificent you are right now, Jesus. No matter what we go through in life, we can always call and we can always depend on you. For that reason right there, we want to give you the thanks. We want to give you the praise. We want to give you the glory. We want to continue to shout out your holy name each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus because there's no God like you. There's no God can do the thing that you can do. There's no God that can perform miracles and wonders like you do. And that's why we praise you right now. That's why we are glorifying your holy name right now. That's why we are magnifying and giving you the worship right now in the mighty name of Jesus because you deserve it all. You deserve it all in Jesus' name. Amen. You deserve the praise, Jesus. You deserve the praise. You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. You deserve everything in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory! Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. And today's text is coming from Isaiah 55. And we're going to read verse 6. That's Isaiah chapter 55. And we're going to read verse 6. And today's message is, your struggling days are over with. Your struggling days right now, my brothers and sisters, they're over with. And, and some of us right now, we struggle in a lot of ways. Even myself, I struggle. But when the Spirit spoke to me and said, LT, your struggling days are over with. So on my way to work, and I'm just, just listening to the Spirit. The Spirit kept telling me, say, I know where you've been hurting at. I know where you've been struggling at. But I want to let you know that your struggling days are over with. So when I get to work, I start talking to one of my co-workers and whatnot. He don't even realize what the Spirit ever done told me I don't need to preach on. And, 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 he, and he spoke to me. He just opened up for some reason. He was like, you preach the Word of God, don't you? And I said, yes, I do. And he said, you know what? He said, I struggle in the area of my faith. So I, I looked at him. I said, my brother Winston, do you know what I'm going to preach on today? He said, what? I said, look, here it is right here. Your struggling days are over with. So that let me know that God was already letting me know for me to preach on this subject. Because not only myself was struggling, my brother Winston was struggling. And there's some more of y'all right now that's struggling right now. There's some brothers right now that's struggling. There's some of, my, some of my sisters right now. You are struggling right now. And God gave me the confirmation to let y'all guys know <clears throat> that your struggling days are over with today. Right now, you better receive this word today. You better receive the miss from my heavenly Father God. He's ensuring every last one of y'all that your struggling days are over with. Amen? Amen. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for another day of life today that you was able to put life inside our bodies today. That you was able to pump blood through our veins today. That you blessed with our strength today. That you blessed with our health today. I just can't thank you enough for our hearing our voice today. I can't thank you enough that I was able to get on my knees this morning and pray and worship you today. I can't thank you enough that you blessed me with another day I could open up my Bible. 
and read a word from you today. I can't thank you enough for the word that you put in my spirit today, oh God. I can't thank you enough for the clothing shoes that you put on my back. I can't thank you enough for the food that you put on my table. I can't thank you enough that you was able to guide me to work today and guide me back home today. I can't thank you enough because you still watch over us. You still protect us with your righteous right hand. I just can't thank you enough for everything that you have done and everything that you're doing now, like right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always going to praise you. That's why I'm always going to glorify you. That's why I'm always going to magnify and shut out your holy name. Because I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I said I can't thank you enough. In Jesus' name, I just can't thank you enough. Glory! Hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. Can you please turn your Bible to Isaiah? 55, and we're going to read verse 6. That's Isaiah 55, verse 6. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out, Amen. Amen, let's begin. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Seek the Lord in your time and scrapping while he is near. Seek the Lord while he may while he may be found right now. Some of y'all been seeking him in your time and your scrapping. Some of y'all been scrapping in alcohol addiction, but you still been seeking the Lord. Some of y'all been scrapping in drugs, but you still been seeking the Lord. Some of y'all been struggling in your finances, but you still been seeking the Lord. Some of y'all been struggling in your marriage, in your relationship, but you still been seeking the Lord. Some of y'all been struggling in your faith, but you still been seeking the Lord. Some of y'all been struggling in your health, but you still been seeking the Lord. And by you struggling in some in all those areas, and by the midst of y'all that y'all were still seeking the Lord. Where he might be found. You called on him in your time of struggling. And he was near, right there with you. He's been there with you in your time of struggling. He's been there with you the whole time when you were struggling in your faith. He was right there with you the whole time when you were struggling through your alcohol addiction, through your drug addiction, through your faith addiction, through your job addiction, through your finance addiction, through your health. Or whatever the situation may be, he was with you the whole time, and now he's assuring every last one of y'all right now that your struggling days are over with. And the reason why they're over with, you was seeking him, you was praising him, you was glorifying him, and you was putting him first place in, in his life every day, and that's why your struggling days are over with. I don't know who I was talking to right now, but somebody been struggling for a while. And by the midst of y'all was struggling, you were still seeking the Lord. And by you were seeking the Lord in your struggling situation, he was right there with you the whole way. And now he's letting you know no longer will you have to struggle in your alcohol addiction. No longer will you have to struggle in your drug addiction. No longer will you have to struggle in your sex addiction. No longer will you have to struggle in your financial um addiction. No longer will you have to struggle in your health addiction. No longer will you have to struggle in your marriage addiction. No longer will you have to struggle in your relationship addiction. No longer will you have to struggle. Whatever the situation that you've been struggling in, no longer will you have to struggle anymore because God is with you right now. He is making a way for you right now, right now, my brothers. He is making a way for you right now today, my sisters. Your struggling days are over with right now. Now, who I'm talking to right now? Who I'm talking to right now? I'm going to tell you what, my brothers, my sisters. You guys are the only one been struggling. I've been struggling in my finances for a while, especially in this job market. Especially in this job market. And God brought me down here to Georgia. The job situation ain't been not been pleasant for me. And I've been struggling in that area for quite some time. I've been struggling in that area. And by God know I've been struggling in that area. But in the midst of all me struggling in that area, I've been seeking him. I was praising him. I was glorifying him. I was always putting him in first place each and every day. But in the midst of me struggling, he was near. 
because I called upon it. I said, Jesus, I need you right now. I'm tired of going through this situation. I'm tired of struggling. I need your help. I cannot do it alone anymore. I need you right now. Yes, and I called on him. Wow, he was near. See, he was near when I was struggling. He's near y'all while y'all were struggling. That's why today's word and message is you guys don't have to struggle anymore. Your struggling days are over with. Jesus is making a way for you right now. He's preparing a way for you right now, my brothers. He's making a way for you right now, my sisters. Your struggling days are over with. Even now, I talked to my co-worker this morning. My brother Winston, he said, one thing LT I struggle with is my faith. I said, my brother Winston, no longer will you have to struggle anymore in your faith. Open up your heart to Jesus. Start believing no more. Start trusting no more. And right at that moment, for the whole eight hours, I knew then that it was the word that he needed to hear. Right then and now, I seen that smile on his face. I seen that he was arising. I seen that he was trusting God. That he gave God another chance. That he opened his heart. He opened his heart up even to more to Jesus. I said, my brother, your struggling days are over with. He said, I know my brother. He said, well, there was no coincidence that you came over here in this area to talk to me. There was no coincidence that you came over here to work with me today because I need to hear that. And I say, brother, I know you need to hear that. We all struggle in certain areas in life. We all struggle, no matter what. But in the midst of your struggle, you still got to pray. You still got to seek him. You still got to put him first place in your life. You still got to worship him. You still got to glorify him. But the main thing, my brothers and sisters, by you struggling, you still got to call on his name. And when you call on Jesus, he is right there near you in your struggle situation. He is right there with you in your struggle time. Today, your struggling days are over with, my brothers. Today, your struggling days are over with, my sisters. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but this message right now today is clearly for the ones who've been struggling for a while. Get ready to praise him right now like you never praised him before. Get ready to lift his name up high like you never lifted his name up high right now before. Give him the glory right now. Say, thank you, Jesus. My struggling days are over with. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory. Glory to God. My struggling days are over with. Glory to God. Your struggling days are over with, my brothers. Glory to God. Your struggling days are over with, my sisters. Your days of struggling are over with. It's over. Do you believe it? And if you believe it, and if you receive it right now, give him some praise right now. Give him some glory right now. Lift his name up high right now. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I magnify and worship your holy name today, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for being there with me and watching me during my struggle situation. But thank you for letting me know today that my struggling days are over with. I can't have did it without you. I would never have made it without you. But my struggling days are over with. And I was going to say glory. Glory, glory, glory. I just can't thank you enough for that, Jesus. Thank you. My brothers and sisters, you need to praise him right now. Because your struggling days are over with right now. I believe and I declare that right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Your struggling days, whatever area that you were struggling in, they are over with right now. They is over with right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And you know what area that you were struggling in. You know what you were struggling in. It's over with right now. It is over with right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. And if this word and this message was meant for you today, like I said, give him the thanks, give him the praise, and give him the glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, use me, so I can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying that simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. In Jesus' name, your struggling days are over with. In Jesus' name, amen.